So this is sharpening on the T4 Tormek water cooled sharpening system. Um, essentially it's, it's a wheel which runs through a trough of water. Sure if you can see all that, so yep, uh, there we go. Trough of water down here, a wheel, a clamp which holds the knife, um, and a guide rod. And with the e um, help of this thing here, you can find the right angle that you want to sharpen on. Generally speaking, I don't recommend this as a tool for knives, but you can use it for knives. I, I find it's really good for scissors and chisels and axes and things that require a different technique than knives, but you can use it for knives. So you put the knife into the guide and you want to put that on there and adjust it so that essentially that is um, flat I can't, yeah not quite so with the, on the back of this it's got a, a dial you can see that down there essentially you can adjust the dial which I would do and get the angle just right it's almost there now so put that there put that there and then you just want mm -hmm. to adjust that ever so slightly it's actually really good you just want there to be a point where there's no light coming through if everything is set which is there and there i've set this to 20 degrees um, and I've set this to the size of the stone, which is just under 200. And you can adjust all that for different things. Once I've got it set, I tighten up these screws at the back to hold it into place. Once it's running, it runs through a little trough of water. And what you can do is take this grading stone and run it along. The rough stone onto that changes the grit of this by essentially exposing big crystals to around 200 to 20 grit. And then, now I'm not the best at doing this, not with a knife, I'm pretty good with scissors. Essentially, Run it across. I don't know what. Steel this is. Now the thing to no, because after a wee while the stone can wear a little bit. And what you need to buy, which I haven't bought yet, is a truing tool, essentially, which will re-grind the top of the stone so it's perfectly flat and get a better just there. Now I can feel there's a burr worked up there already, probably quite soft steel. Once you've done one side, I want to do essentially exactly the same. Movement with the other. Now, this is something I just got for Christmas. Brand new, so it had a bit of an edge, but um, factory edge is never very satisfactory. Okay, now what I can do is take the other side of this grating stone, and what I'm doing now. Is fracturing the crystals I can't remember. But basically what I'm doing now is changing the grit to 1000 grit so rough stone obviously does that's a very good pass
run into a few passes. So the interesting thing about this grind is because it's on a round stone, you'll get a very slight hollow grind. Very slight. Still noticeable. Couple more passes, and then what I'm going to do is change out the stone and put a non gradable Japanese water stone on there. And that will let me put a four thousand grit finish. So you can see that there. It's okay. Um, nothing to write home about. I turn that off. Take a simple wrench. Grip the stone. Loosen it off. It's a little bit tricky. You've got to kind of take the, the trough holding the water out without spilling it everywhere. Stone off down here. Now in here I've got Japanese water stone. Wash it back on, put the stone on, tighten the nut up, take the water trough. Could put fresh water in, but so I'm not going to drink it. And then turn it on. And what it will do is soak up some of the water. Now, normally I wouldn't recommend you sharpen your knives on any kind of bench grinder. This is specifically designed for it. Because what it does is it runs through the trough of water your blade cool. Now it only runs I don't know, somewhere between maybe 120 degrees per minute anyway whereas a bench grinder runs at about 3000 but by keeping it in water it keeps it cool. Now grinding it with these stone won't really do anything now. Um, can though maybe clean off the surface a little bit. Again, I need the truing tool to get the most benefit out of this because I've kind of used a little bit and everything's all a bit out of whack so the truing tool gets it back into whack. But, okay. Obviously this needs electricity whereas the other systems I've and you don't. And like I say, generally I don't use this for knives. I do use it for scissors. I do use it for axes and I do use it for chisels. And on those things, it does a fantastic job. But for a knife, I mean, it does an alright job. I just think it can do a better job by hand. I'm not doing this 
properly. I think once you go along, so I can hear the tip. I'm supposed to lift it up. So it's kind of hard to do that in this. Hopefully now you can see. Doesn't really show very well, but it's getting a pretty much a mirror finish. Four thousand grit. See the amount of metal which is coming off. A lot of it is just going. Straight into the water. Some of it is also going onto the stone. For some reason I'm not finding it coming off this other side very well. Put it on a bit of a funny angle so I can capture it on the camera. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it works. And when you're finished, you just loosen it off. Take the clamp off. Okay, and then I think you can pick out, <laughs> yeah, the mirror finish is pretty good. Might have missed the a little bit down there, but it's good. And then I like to just use this dirty old drop them on and just give it a drop. This actually does system have a, a strop. It's got a leather wheel on the other side here um, and you can strop things on that. But I think the problem with that strop is that it's not actually as fine as a leather wheel. So yeah, that's the Tormek. This is the T4. There's a T8 which is a lot bigger and heavier duty. Um, but for, like I say, for scissors, for axes, for chisels, um, for planer blades, this is fine. There's actually a company in Australia, I think, Grinders, who use these as a sharpener for knives, and they've got a slightly different setup with different wheels and things like that. A lot faster than what I can do, but this is a simple thing. Um, a good little thing, not the best thing. Uh, Probably not as good an edge as I get on the TS Prof, or even the Wicked Edge. Um, but quick, easy, and much, much better for things like axes and chisels, and particularly scissors, I find this is really good. I do a lot of scissors on this. Yeah, there you go. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.